Now, my dear woman, if you could please relate to my colleague what you told me. He needs to know. We set up our campsite here last night, and about midnight I turned out to see if the storm had stopped and I saw her. That poor, poor girl. Well, I think we need to... Did you see what happened to Clara? Do you know where my fiancé is? Yeah, they came in the night and they took her. Who? Who took her? Damn you, woman! Who abducted my Clara? It was the night monsters. Poppycock! That's just local legend. It is no legend. You've seen the dead livestock. You avoid the forest at night. You know why we all bolt our doors and shutters and always say our prayers. We all fear them. Those blood-sucking monsters. Those pale creatures of the night. something else to drink too. What? You've seen way more graphic stuff than this. The last film was all about the gore, like that exploding animatronic demon child. You really want to go back to drinking every time we hear the word horror? I don't want my liver to fall out. The horror! That which has done this will pay most dearly, be it man or some kind of beast. Some kind of beast? Are you too falling prey to these stories of monsters? My dog was old. Perhaps it merely succumbed to age and loss of hair and skin and organ fortitude. Rational explanations. It does not appear to be the work of any indigenous species, nor the ravages of time. There is not a drop of blood left in the body. Perhaps there is something to the legend of night creatures. Rubbish. <laughs> Heaven's word. That sounded like Mrs. Barnes, the housekeeper. Mitchell, make haste. So can we assume that Mitchell's gonna get killed first? He's kind of a disbelieving dickbag. You don't like Mitchell? Our heroically beloved, lovelorn loser. Nah. I like Doc Sanderson. He knows what's up. Oh, well. Then it wouldn't be good for you if, say, his head was torn off in the next 20 minutes or so? Hmm. Clara! Clara, snap out of it! Respond, damn you! Respond to me, your beloved Mitchell! Sanderson, what's wrong with her? From the look of her adventure, she's in some sort of a trance. A man prone to thoughts of superstition or the weird might perversely deduce she's under the spell of that monster. Then by God, we will hunt down that beast. And even if we don't believe in it, we will find it. And we will kill it. And we will save Clara. Even if I just watch for the fiery fall of hell itself. Greg's calling. Finish your beer. Okay, it finally happened. I'm tired of chugging beers. Can't you just pick up and tell him not to call? Sam, I'm not talking to him. Talking to him to tell him I'm not talking to him would defeat the purpose. Then I'd have to talk to him. Well, at some point you are gonna have to talk to him. Don't you still have a bunch of stuff at his place you need to get? Yes, I will have to go over there sometime and I will have to talk to him sometime. Just not now. Because of last time? Yeah and the time before that, and the time before that. 
As much as that man deserves a silent treatment, I want to pick up that phone and tell Greg to go eat a dick. But I know I won't be able to resist the temptation to hear him out, and you know how that goes. Greg and I break up, I leave upset, and then he sweet talks his way back into my life. But if I don't pick up, if I can keep some distance, maybe this time it'll stick. So what are you gonna do? I'm going to continue our super rad movie marathon, and you are gonna be a good friend. You're gonna take my phone, hide it from me, and then I don't have anything else to worry about. Sure thing. I'm gonna get some refills. It's why I'm here, to grab beers, watch movies, apparently hide your phone, the things a good friend does to be supportive during your breakup. And apparently, to drop your pants within two steps of the door and demand a pair of sweats. You invited me over for a mountain of monster movies. I just wanted to be as comfortable as possible. Plus, comfy pants are essential for comforting. They're there. They're there, there. <laughs> well, thank you. I don't mean to deviate from theme, but do you think we could maybe watch some zombie movies next? Why? You don't like pale creatures of the night? Uh, uh, uh. Not really. I mean, they're kind of silly, right? Silly? Cursed to walk the earth at night, forever hungering for blood? That is way scary. A little romantic and totally badass. They are my all-time favorite old-timey monsters. I just never really thought that they were- Shh! It's the big reveal. that's awesome because that is crazy awesome. Don't get me wrong, I thought mimes were terrifying when I was younger. They were right up with werewolves and living snowmen as childhood nightmare fodder. Same here. I used to have this dream that snowmen would come to life and burn down my house. Which doesn't even make sense, but those dreams totally freaked me out as a kid. Oh yeah, super scary back then. But now I want horror with plausibility. Serial killers, slashers, zombies. Heck, give me a good old home invasion movie. I just don't have your powers of imagination. You just don't appreciate the classics. And how are zombies more realistic? They're scientifically possible. Bullshit. <laughs> What's the plan? My plan ended with hiding in the closet. I'm open to ideas. Well, we're not safe in here. That mime could probably sense our blood. When it finds us, we're basically in a giant lunchbox. I don't want to die that way. Like an apple or a fucking juice box? Hey, no juice box talk. We're not snack time. But there is a monster in your house. So what do we do? We should call the police. Yes, good idea. Let's do that. My cell is in my pants, which are still in the living room. 
Did you happen to think ahead and hide my phone in this closet? No. Your phone's in the fridge behind some lettuce or something. Shit. We're gonna have to make a run for it. No. I'll go. You stay here, where it's safe. I'll be back with the phone. Hey, out there, do not think like a juice box. Sam? Sam! Oh, thank God you're alive. Oh, God, Sam! I am so sorry. It's gonna be okay, though. We're gonna figure this out. Well, thank you, but let's get out of here. We can call the police from your car. Come on. What are you doing? That thing could still be in here. Let's go. Okay, no, you need to slow down. What? No, that's just stupid. First, if he'd wanted my blood, he could have marched back upstairs to the closet and murdered the shit out of me. Two, the fact that you're actually worried about it makes you better than most of the assholes out there anyway. And three, I don't know, but I'm not leaving you, right? Right, now let's get out of here before that thing comes back. What the hell is that for? Weren't you watching the movie? That can't hurt a mime. Yeah, now you're using your head. Oh my god! Oh god! No! Sam! Oh god! God! Oh! 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 And by God, we will hunt down this beast. And we will find it. And we will kill it. And we will save. And we will kill it. Even if we have to march into the fiery maw of hell itself.
Given how quickly you turned Sam into one of you, I was counting on this working pretty fast. Lucky me, yeah? I can really feel it. There we go. Since I'm not going to be chatting too much in the near future, I really wanted to come up with something meaningful and cool. But I'm just really angry you killed my friend. Can't you see it? Just use your imagination. Didn't even hear you come in. I didn't know when you were coming home. And I gotta ask, was tonight secret Halloween or something? Well, I was on my way to bed, so you should shower off, and then you can tell me all about your day under the covers. Because clearly it was more of a party than mine. You're still pissed at me? Look. I know you're upset with me. I'm upset with me. But you know how I am. You start talking about commitment, and I just think confinement. And then I get claustrophobic, and I do stupid, stupid shit. You know me. I like my space. I know you're not intentionally taking that away, but I feel suffocated sometimes. A little of that is you, but most of it's me, and I'm working on it. What do you say, Care Bear? Give me another chance? Give us another chance? What? <laughs> what? Carrie, what is going on? What? What are you doing? Oh. 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 Oh